Hey, what's up guys? This is SJV Guides. I'm doing a video on Up to the Challenge, which is a Gunrunner's Arsenal achievement, where you complete any three of the Gunrunner's one-star challenges. Welcome, and by the way, these are the easiest according to my yourself. standards. So, I mean, if you have guns I at 100 and you got a lot of caps, damage. then this is the route that I think that you should take. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best one, I'm just saying it's easiest uh, according to me. So, uh, first thing I want to do is save, which I did not show, because you do not want to end up buying a lot of guns that you don't need, like the 5.56mm pistol, you don't need that. Um, so anyways, buy that, save, well save before you buy it, save, and then buy that, and then once you have it, make sure you have enough ammo, um, like three, 350, which is about what I have, is enough. Um, and once you, uh, once you get that you want to go to the repcon headquarters which is right here and um, when you get there literally kill every single robot um, like in the building and around the building because you gotta kill 15 robots with this pistol in order to get the first challenge complete so um, unfortunately though unfortunately though what tends to happen is there's not gonna be enough robots there and so you're gonna have to go to one of two main places and that is Big Mountain which is where I need I mean if you've been there then there's a lot of freaking robots there and the crashed vertebrate which is like the only other main area I could think of that had robots but unfortunately you don't really want to go there because those are the extremely advanced robots and they'll kill you like instantly um, so unless you got like power armor and you 100 guns which actually I do have power armor but I'm not wearing it um, then I would not even, I wouldn't even attempt going there. Um, but anyways, hopefully you will not be like me, and you will not, have not triggered the other alarms. If you trigger them, then more spawn, the sentry bot guys, which are annoying, but, you know, they're annoying. They're not annoying, they're, they're annoying. Um, but yeah, so just literally go throughout the building and kill every robot that you see. It doesn't even matter if they're gonna be against you or not, it still counts. Um, like, it, it I mean, it doesn't, it, it, like, right, if they come up and start talking to you right as soon as you're done talking, uh, just blow the chat out of them, and then you'll, you'll be good. No, Moving on, uh, let's just say that you do not have a full 15 robots here, which, again, hopefully you will, so you will not have to go through absolute sheer and terror like me. Um, and if that if, if this does happen to you, then again, I have two locations, and I'm going to show the Crash Vertebrate. Um, Big Mountain, obviously, I wouldn't go to Big Mountain, especially if you haven't gone yet, and then you can't get back, because then you're going to have to wait extremely long. But anyways, to the Crash Vertebrate, here we come. And it's right about here, there's actually a location for it on your map that when you discover it, you can fast travel. Uh, which is really, really nice, actually. But the, the reason why I do not want people to go here is because these are, there's like 25 of them, which is good. Except for the fact that they're, they're like, hard and prestige. Like, okay, if you, if you play Call of Duty, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like you're level 1, and they're level 15 prestige, level 70. Okay, that, that's basically what's going on here. And you got a pistol, and they got rocket launchers, and plasma launchers, and a gatling laser. So it's not really the most fun battle ever. I mean, it's challenging, it's challenging, I'll give you that. But I, I, I noticed that armor piercing works the best to get him, against him. It's like a three shot, which is actually really, really good. Um, then again, I am like level 31, I think, actually. But, um, yeah, armor piercing works the best. I, I actually pulled out um, hollow point, and I wasn't really doing anything. I don't know if you can tell here. I had to, like, put a whole clip in him. But then I realized, oh, wait, I gotta use armor piercing. And I pulled out these bats. And, <laughs> and then finally I put armor piercing back in, and it, just, it, just, it destroys him. It destroys them. Um, but hopefully by then you will have enough and, um, you know, you'll have enough to move on to the next challenge, which is actually another pistol one. You gotta pull out the Maria, which is actually off of the dead, um, guy that killed you in the beginning named Benny, who, uh, is the guy that stole the platinum chip. You probably know. But, um, if you don't, then, uh, spoiler alert after I just told you. So there you go. Um, but yeah. So, what you want to do with this is just kill 15 ghouls. Um, the only ghouls that will not count that I found are the trooper ghouls that are at um, Camp Searchlight. Uh, those do not count except for the glowing ones there. So, I don't know why, but yeah. But, um, Repcon headquarters, no, Repcon testing site is a really, really, really good place to go. Because there's always tons of ghouls inside and tons of ghouls outside. So, as you can see here, I got that one and then I got one more to go and we will be good. I'm moving on to the final challenge as I get a bunch of radiation imprinted into my body. And 
There you go. Challenge complete. Alright, so the final challenge is you gotta kill Mr. House with a 9-iron. So, if you have not made a clean save, which if you don't know what that is, just save and then do not override it. Like, don't, don't, don't save over it at all. Uh, if you have not done that, then you're definitely gonna want to do this for the um, for this one because it's gonna screw up the entire uh, storyline of New Vegas. Unless unless you're going against them and you're far enough to the point where you just want to kill them anyways, uh, then you might as well just do this and not save. But you know whatever. Um, but the cool things about achievements is that they they don't go away. So even even if you've made a clean save and then you you kill you know you kill Mr. House and then you get the achievement and then you save you know you, you you load back to the clean save it says that you the game has not killed House yet but you still got the achievement but first thing I want to do is pick up this nine iron here in the King's King's Castle I like to call it but it's actually the um, it's like the school of impersonation the Elvis Presley school uh, and then you want to head to obviously L Lucky 38 which I'm just showing this if you do not know um, and all, I, all I'm gonna say is that do not go on there and start beating the shit out of all the robots because you're gonna die, especially with a nine iron too. Because I mean, there's you know, all, all, although that's true though, because all you have to do is kill Mr. House with the nine iron. You don't have to kill the robots with the nine iron. So I guess I guess that'd kind of be a good thing. But saying that is um, stating that I still wouldn't walk in there, you know, nine irons and blazing, and um, you know, beating the shit out of Victor and stuff. But Still, uh, as soon as you get in there, uh, just run over to the computer, the com, the computer, okay? It's it's the computer um, on the side of the wall next to the computer screen where Mr. House hangs out, um, and you talk to him and stuff. And uh, oh yeah, make sure you do not have any followers when you do this too, because they will end up stealing your kills, and then you'll be pissed off, and then. It's just, it's just not a good thing. But anyway, so once you're up here, uh, pull out your 9-iron, and do not hit anything. That's all I'm gonna say. So there's Mr. House right there. And all you wanna do is just walk on over here. There'll be a robot right there. Just hit this terminal right here. And this is a lot harder when they're upgraded, by the way. The, uh, the robots with the uh, platinum chip. So you might wanna do this before, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not that difficult. But you just wanna jump over to this, and activate this terminal, and uh, take that down. And one last thing I tell you about the other ones is that you definitely 100% want to do this one last because remember how I said that you know load up your clean save when you're done you get the achievement. Well, the thing is is that if you don't do this last, let's say that you do this first, then you only have one of the three uh, challenges complete, and so then you got to do the other two, and it's just a pain in the ass. Anyway, so wait for him to get out of here, smack him a couple times, wait for his ass to get out of his like cryogenic sleeper, and then. Uh, walk on up to him and beat the shit out of him. And there you go. So now as you can see, I got the challenge. And then you're like, wait, 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 no achievement, right? Wait, wait, what's 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 going on here, right? And I was actually confused too. I was like waiting for it. I was like, what's 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 going on? I'm confused. I'm confused. Let's check. Let's check. Oh, oh, notifications were off. Yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, so there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is SJV Guide signing off. Please like, favorite, and subscribe and comment for any questions that needed to be answered.